what is this very fun looking area? All right, so this is where we can stamp the sweatband. And Ooh. by stamp, I mean a hot foil stamp. So we can put um, brands. We have several people's brands here oh, cool. that have ordered hats, uh, different symbols. Uh, a lot of people will put their name, mm -hmm. initials, uh, favorite scripture, um, favorite horses names, anything like that. We can we can put in there. So, uh, what would you like in your sweatband? I think we have to do chasing down Madison Brown. I think that's a great <laughs> idea. Okay, ready? There you go. Good. Perfect. Ooh. Dun, dun. Oh my goodness! It's beautiful. It's easy to see how creative and passionate Brooklyn is about each and every hat she works on. So this is definitely the distressing and the speckles. It's kind of a signature of war bonnet hats. You know, obviously it's not for everyone. Not everyone wants their hat distressed and some people will want it to look new. They don't want it to buy a brand new hat that looks old, but um, some people, you know, really dig it. I feel like it takes a lot of bravery to take a blowtorch to a hat that you just spent literally hours and days making. <laughs> yeah, and that's, like I said, some people are like, no, do not do that to my brand new hat. You know, I don't want it to look worn. To me, it gives it character, and, and I love character in a people and hats and your clothes and your jewelry. From color choices to textures to her own special touch, each piece is treated like a true masterpiece. I feel like I want to try, but I'm also very nervous to ruin the beautiful piece of artwork that you have going on here. Well, you're not going to ruin it, but you've been a part of every step. You might as well get a part of this step, too. There you go. <laughs> I feel like I'm throwing it on there. OK, that's all I dare do. OK. I'm giving it back to the master. My hat was almost finished. Next, we added a special band for the final touches. All right. Raise that. Oh, it is so pretty. And then let's get you some feathers. So can I ask, have you ever had someone like actually find, say they found a feather when they were out walking, like send it in and say yeah. that they wanted it yes. on their hat? No way. Yeah, and I love doing stuff that like means something to the customer. Um, I've had people send me um, their grandma's pin or we, had, we did a hat for a customer who um, wanted her dad's first buckle, and it was a small buckle, so we That's built so the hat special. and put the ribbon around this buckle, and she um, put that on her hat, so it was really cool. Um, we've, we, we like to incorporate anything, any, anything that means anything to you. We wanna somehow get that on the hat if we can. Okay, big feathers or small feathers, and I'll go from there. Let's do small feathers. Okay, so we're gonna add that feather. Because you have to have a feather. Right. Is any hat really complete without a feather? I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. This turned out even more perfect than I could have ever imagined. And we're not even finished. I know, we gotta get it shaped up. That's the last thing that we do. So now what are we doing? I assume there's more steam. There's more steam, <laughs> more heat. So right now the crown's rigid. So the steam is going to make it pliable. Gotcha. And that way when we crease it, it's going to heat up and then it's going to cool and then it'll stay that shape. Gotcha. Now is there a fancy block mold to crease it or do you just know what to do? Everything we do, everything we shape is by hand. Oh my goodness. So we don't have blocks that some bigger companies might have that press the shape into the hat. It's all by hand. It's all by hand. All right, Madison, you ready to see what you created? I'm so excited. Here it is. <gasps> what do you guys think? So cute. It fits. Amazing. I mean, seriously, it feels like I've been wearing this hat my whole life. That's the way it should feel. Well, 
I don't think that this hat could get any more perfect. I don't think that this day could get any more perfect. Truly, thank you guys so much for having me out thank here you. at War Bonnet Hat Works. This has been the greatest day. We, we've really enjoyed having you and we really appreciate you coming out and wanting to see what the whole process is about and meet you and um, just spend the day with you. So we thank you too. What a ride! From learning the history to the hands-on hard work, I'm leaving this Texas town with a hat and a day I'll never forget.